All right, guys, we're here at Wild Turkey at the uh, new visitor center with the world famous, very uh, wild turkey savvy, Bo Garrett. And we appreciate he's taking the time to sit down with us and answer a few questions. So uh, we'll jump right into it. Bo, how long have you been at Wild Turkey? I've been working here for about six years. Uh, my relationship goes back farther than that with the Russells, but as far as this being my job, no, not about six years. So what how did you do before this job? Music business. I was a guitarist for a country act called Montgomery Gentry. And y'all know me. <laughs> I'm all about that country. Well, Montgomery Gentry is a very... I don't even can't even say established as a, one of the a major leading band in the country. We had a really good run. You did, and yeah. uh, really good run. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Troy right. recently, and that's sad. Uh, so, um, were you a everyday guitar? Um, oh yeah, Troy and Eddie were my best friends. We uh, played in bars together before there was a Montgomery Country. Wow, that's amazing. So, um, but now so? you're now you have favorites in the bourbon world I who do. are of course jimmy and eddie jimmy and eddie <laughs> <laughs> and bruce i didn't forget you bruce <laughs> what is your favorite i mean there's so many different options in wild turkey that my favorite of all bourbon i think my favorite distillery my favorite whiskey is wild turkey and my favorite personally is kentucky spirit her favorite you is all know rare breed so what is your if you have you can never drink another wild turkey say? product again. What oh, would your wild turkey product be? My favorite. If you can say that unlimited supply. Rest of your life. The rest of my life. You're go price is not an option. Mm -hmm. like yes. Yeah. 13. 13. Russell's Reserve 13. Now, yes. have you had the 15? Oh, come on. And it, you're, you like the 13 over the 15? They're different. Uh, I get asked that question a lot. Like, which one's better? Yeah. They're different for me. Um, I like them both. There is, just, in the bourbon world, you, there is, you can't say your favorite because there is so many different versions of right. bourbon. So you can like, I like this one, but this one's pretty equal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in a yeah. different way. Yeah, if you're, if you're like, the, for me, the 13 has a sweeter profile than the 15, and the 15 brings in a nice, that oak in a really nice way. Yeah. And so it's impossible to get this 15 right now, except yeah. we just learned last Wednesday you guys had a drop, and it was for unreal. like two hours. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, the uh, uh, friend of mine who uh, keeps and follows this stuff, he was like, he, he said 15 was released on the website. Unfortunately, they don't ship to Tennessee, so that wasn't a choice yeah, to us. To do that. But I got an email showing me that the website couldn't handle all the people. I heard that. I heard that it crashed. That's yeah. awesome, though. That's great for... Well, but don't... If... There's a rumor going around that there's going to be a burst. Bourbon is about to burst. Mm. What do you think about that? I think it's possible. Uh, I, I don't. I haven't really seen a whole lot of signs. I would say we're right there yet, but I, I think we need to take care of bourbon. Oh yeah, yeah better. For sure. We need to take care of it now, like we did once upon a time, because. Uh, it could very easily with the secondary market. Mm -hmm. Secondary the, market and the younger the pricing, and the younger yeah. um, folks coming up, and mm -hmm. they're more into those spirits of vodka and right. things like that. Right, so. it, it, it's all cyclical. Yes, uh, you know, um, Bruce loves rye whiskey. Uh, Jimmy and Eddie were bourbon guys, and it was, his generation went more toward the rye. You know, uh, Eddie says kind of like that. You don't want to drink the same thing your dad, your granddad drinks. And, uh, kind of move that so they move the needle on rye whiskey uh, but bourbon's okay right now oh Trust yeah me. it is it after is. what i yeah, saw here is. last week <laughs> it was all right i saw oh, pictures wow. i saw pictures i would i would have loved to have been in that line but unlike uh, unfortunately i'm sure just like the 13 i'll probably not get to, <laughs> ever get to own a 15. i've been chasing 13. i, I don't like secondary market i don't right. play in it i think uh, if, if Wild Turkey thinks a bottle costs two hundred dollars, and that's what I'm going to pay for it, I'm not going to pay four or five hundred dollars for a liquor store that yeah. wants to hoard it. So I've never owned a thirteen. I've tried it, and I love it. Yeah. And I hope to one day own a thirteen and a fifteen. But um, they're so awesome. And I, I guess, like I was said earlier, I'm a fanboy and just being here He's at Wild like, Turkey. I love Wild maybe. Turkey. Yeah. And uh, um, I equate you. I was telling her. She was like, we, "We're going to." I said, "I said, Bo's. Uh, he's like Freddie." At what Buffalo Trace? Oh, oh, I don't know if I belong in that category. But. I think Have you, you met do. Freddie? I love Freddie. He Freddie is, is awesome. a wonderful human being. Yeah. Love Freddie. Well, I think 
Buffalo Trace has Freddie and Wild Turkey has Bo Garrett. That's Wild what Turkey. I think. I agree. I agree. I think everybody else agrees. Very big too. compliment. Thank you for that a lot. Everybody knows who Bo is. So uh, I don't want to keep you too long. So uh, I, I was here a few weeks ago with a couple friends of mine. Amy wasn't here with us. And we asked you this question then. I want to ask again. What is your take on non-chill filters? I'm Team Eddie all the way on that. Eddie will tell you no bourbon should be chill filtered. <laughs> he said that wasn't the way it was originally created, and I'm, I'm kind of Team Eddie on that. I love non-chill filtered bourbon. I, I just got a non-chill um, filtered rare breed. Thank you, Dave. Oh, my gosh. From yes. Japan. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yep. It's the way to go. Rare breed on its own is incredible, and I tell people mm -hmm. if you ever get a chance to try that one, please do, because... Think about how much you love rare breed and multiply that. Yeah, a lot of people come over to our house to drink, and that's the one that it's a big bottle, but I, I'm yep. just a little bit of a porter I agree. on that it's, one. It's fantastic. So, yeah. do you have any more questions for him? Anything you would like to ask before we end Please, this? Jimmy coming. When he gets ready. <laughs> when he wants to. <laughs> people ask me all the time when Jimmy's going to be here. I was like, he's here. Yeah, bless his heart. He's like the most down to earth guy. You know, we put the new sign up on the building, the Jimmy Russell uh, Long Turkey Experience. Mm -hmm. And he pulls up close to that railing up there because he, he, he's 89 and his, his knees are not quite what they used to be. And he pulls up close to that railing and I always go out and meet him. I was like, why don't you pull up closer to the railing there, Jimmy? It'd be less, less for you to have to walk. And bless his heart, he looks at me and he goes, well, are you sure that's all right? I was like, dude, your name's on the freaking building. I'll let you park in the middle of the lobby if you want to. Do what you want to do. But that's the kind of guy he is. He's like, you think I'd be all right? I'm like, yeah, of course. Your name's on the, on the building. And you can park where you want. And I've heard that he just sits there and he talks to everybody and he signs. Does. So that's pretty cool that he does that. Yes. Thank you all. Um, yeah, he, he, he'll sit there and sign bottles and talk. I love that. Uh, that's awesome. Folks. It is. And pick on them. You know, he, he loves <laughs> to have a good time. Love it. If he can do that at your expense, it's more fun for him. I, you know what? We... We actually love that pick, pick, pick. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta poke fun when you can. So I got, I got two more questions okay. for you. One is, why don't we see more non-chill filtered in the states and in, in U.S.? That's a great question. I, I don't have an answer. For that. Okay. Do you have a law or something? No, I don't. No, no I don't no, think so. It's, it's just, I don't know if it started with cocktails and they didn't, you know, like put the ice in there and it get a little cloudy or mm -hmm. milky. Well, I don't know if it started with that or people wanting to put ice in their bourbon when they drink it would also cloud it up a little yeah. bit it from what i understand the chill filtering is mo mostly an aesthetic thing as opposed to actually being functional i guess because people don't really? like seeing that that the that cloud, the, 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 yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. it, you know it's all about how you look and stuff and perception and i guess with a whiskey you think moonshine you talked about moonshine mm -hmm. moonshine the clear the, the the clearer it burns, yeah. the better the better right. it is. So maybe people get the idea that if it's got a milkiness or yeah. even residue in it, I, I like finding Judge the char. Mental. They start thinking it's not as good. Yeah, right. Exactly. So, so but I, it's the I other way really around. Know. It's way better. I, I I think so. But now I'm a neat. I like bourbon neat. So <clears throat> mine's not going to cloud up. She gave me that look. Do you see that look? Yeah. I like it on the rocks. Do you? I do. That's well, I, but it, it depends. It's just and it's just like every. What Jimmy we just, said it makes his eyes taste better. It does. That's what Jimmy said. But like just you said, in, inside it does. It depends on the bourbon. If I'm drinking, um, I can drink Kentucky Spirit neat or oh, yeah. or on the rocks and enjoy it. But there's some of them like a smoke wagon. She's wearing a smoke wagon shirt. Yeah. I can't. I got to put that on you the rocks. Put that ice is, on that. I had one of those. Middle. I, it's, yeah, it, 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 you know it's there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. that's so, one that you have to drink every day to get. A but there's there's just so many options with bourbon in the bourbon world. But we could talk all day about that. And I don't want to keep you. You're a busy man, and we're we're just Which grateful that you. I've got one more, but we're grateful that you sat down with us and took the time, and we you appreciate that. It's amazing. Appreciate. Last question. All right. Can you get us a bottle of 15? <laughs> I can't get me one. <laughs> uh, all right. You don't get a 15? Jimmy came in here the other day and he said, what happened down here yesterday? I said, that, the 15 got released. He goes, oh, I don't even think I got a bottle of that. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure. I'm guaranteeing you can't get one. Yeah. He's probably like, I don't need one. He probably doesn't even know if he has No, one. he probably has no clue. Yep. He's got so many cool bottles that he doesn't even know which ones he does have anymore. <laughs> so funny. 
All right, well, thanks again, Bo. We appreciate your time. We Thank had a wonderful time here, and I've been looking forward to this. This is the best of story, I think, in the in the bourbon world. Homer's and Homer's been getty doing yeah, this, so uh, we I appreciate love it. everything. No worries. And thank I've you. enjoyed having you guys. It was right. a lot of fun for me, always. It was. So uh, thank you so much. And uh, you guys never been here? You need to come. And when you come, you need to talk to this man. He is the Wild Leonard Turkey. Skinner. He's been with Leonard Skinner. <laughs> he is the Wild Turkey aficionado. He knows everything. And uh, great time, great place. We'll see you all next time. Keep sipping. Cheers.